Good day. Welcome to week seven, day five. And today we will discuss God's, we will discuss God's daily rule. The text for today is taken from Isaiah 33, verse two. Oh Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in the time of distress. About two years ago, I had a, an acquaintance of mine who was swimming at the beach and uh, they went under. Their legs were flailing above the waters while they were head down in the water. Lifeguard went in, pulled them out, resuscitated them. What's interesting um, is that afterwards, um, numbers weren't exchanged and uh, the my, my friend and the lifeguard didn't become chummy, chummy best friends. I say that because we often don't keep in close contact with our saviors. If someone uh, takes you in the ambulance and they save your life, we don't exchange numbers or anything like that. We don't keep close contact with our saviors. But with our heavenly savior who came down to the earth, not only will our enjoyment of God remain lacking if our walk with him isn't daily, but our willingness and readiness or to our willingness and readiness to obey him will remain lacking. lacking. In other words, we need a daily walk with our saviors. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11 to 13, God says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I hope you notice that God is the one with a good plan. Walking with God in the pursuit of daily obedience is the sure way of fulfilling each of his wonderful plans in our lives. You remember the story of a person and they've gone to heaven and um, he sees these footprints on in the sand. I mean, imagine it's a beach, but footprints in the sand and um, there are two footprints at times, and then it goes into one, one set of footprints. And uh, the person says, notices that during the difficult times, there are one set of footprints. Um, and so they ask, why is it that there are one set of footprints? Did, did, you, did you leave me? And um, the Lord says, no, I carried you during those times. And that's how it is walking with the Lord. Walking with the Lord on a daily basis, we find that he carries us during the difficult times. And that's why it's so important for us to um, have a daily walk with the Lord. In 2 Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse, uh, 2, verse 14, but praise be to God who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him. I want you to do me a favor right now. I want you to review your week. Ask God to help you remember how your week went this week. You might glance back at your calendar or your prayer journal. Which days reflect when you walked with God, and what days didn't? If God did not walk, if, if, if you did not walk with God on any days, try to remember where you were in those days. Rejoice over any opened treasure box you received from God. Now, let's see what God has to say to us through the prophet of Isaiah about the dailiness of walking with God. I want you to turn to Isaiah chapter 33, verses two to six. 
Isaiah chapter 33, verses 2 to 6. It says, O Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in a time of distress. As the thunder of your voice, the people's feet. When you rise up, the nations scatter. You, your plunder, O nations, is harvested as by young locusts, like a swarm of locusts, men pounce on it. The Lord is exalted. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with the justice and righteousness. He will be the sure foundation for your times, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the key treasure. I want to put some points out of this. As we talk about God's dailiness, God's dailiness from the monumental to the minuscule. Number one, God offers us the daily treasure of his strength. In verse two, the Lord be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning. God offers us the daily treasure of his strength. And so that's one thing that we can see in the dailiness of God, which gives us his strength. And I know I have a witness in here who knows that God gives us his strength. His strength is made perfect. Weakness. Number two, God offers us the daily treasure of his sure foundation. We read that in verse six. All constructive life is built on one foundation, and that's Jesus Christ. Today, however, we're learning that obedient lives flow from obedient days, and victorious lives flow from victorious days. Likewise, constructive lives flow from constructive days built on the sure foundation of God's son. The King James Version uses the English word stability rather than sure foundation in Isaiah 33, verse 6. I love the thought of being of God being our stability through many unstable times. How about you? Number three, God offers us the daily treasure of wisdom and knowledge, verse 6. One of the most wonderful blessings God gives to us, one of the most wonderful blessings God gives to us uh, through any given week of our calendar is the treasure of God's wisdom. Now, wisdom is the proper application of knowledge. Wisdom is knowing what to do. Wisdom is a being able to discern right from wrong. Wisdom is the ability to apply what has been shown. God doesn't speak very highly of human wisdom. In Isaiah 47, 10, I want you to read that. You'll see of God's opinion. On the days we don't walk with God, we are easily misled based on human knowledge. But God wants to guide us daily in his, in his wisdom and his knowledge. And remember, he is the one with the plan. Isaiah chapter 119, one of five points, a beautiful picture for us. His word is a lamp onto our feet, meaning he guides our steps. Number four, number four, God offers us the daily treasure of a fresh morning word. And we see that in verse four. Based on this wonderful verse, though we can hear from him at any time, I believe God wakens us up early in the morning with a supernatural capacity to hear from him. Can you think of any reasons why God would do that? I, I can think of a few, but I want you to answer to it. Number five, God offers us the daily treasure of victory. We cannot escape the warfare of the Christian life. Unfortunately, Satan is up. He doesn't take time off uh, for good behavior. He is on the prowl daily. Every day, every single day can bring trouble, but every day we have a blessed hope 
of having a troubled shooter. Satan seeks to disgrace us, accuse us, and condemn us. We must daily set our faces like a flint to seek the Lord and follow him step by step to victory. Isaiah chapter 50, verses 10 and 11. I want us to read this now as we take this point to just a little deeper. Isaiah 51, 50, excuse me, verses 10 and 11. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let him who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on his God. But now all you who light fires and provide yourselves with flaming torches, go. Walk in the light of your own of your own fires and of the torches you have set ablaze. This is what you shall receive from my hand. You will lie down in torment. No matter how long you've walked with God, we will still have days that seem dark and circumstances in which he, 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 his way seems terribly obscure. In those time, God, times, God tells us to trust in his name and rely, rely on who he is. Job 23.10 continues with this blessing. He says, but I know, but he knows the way I should take. You see, the beauty of God's light is this. It will always lead us right back to the path. No matter how long the, the, the detour has been, the return is only a shortcut away. Psalms 119.94 says, save me for I am yours. Today, I hope we will take this invitation for a daily walk with God where we listen to him and follow his word. God bless you. Have a wonderful day on today.